Sunday, we are going to a trail that has recently become my very favorite. Um, I did it for the first time a couple weeks ago and the views and the mountains and everything is just spectacular. It's here in Northern Utah and it's called Squaw Peak. So we're starting on the south end um, in Hobble Creek Canyon and then it'll be about a couple hours on the trail and then we'll come out at Provo Canyon. And then from there, we'll go up to Sundance, have some fun. I think there might be some live music, have some food and have a great day. Time to get the gas. Do you know Maverick has their own Jeeps? Yeah, every now and then, if you, depending on what Maverick you go to, they usually have like a really cool Jeep outside and they're like wrapped and they're usually like the older ones that are cool looking. I should be sponsored by Maverick. I swear the mountains, they look like Disney made them. Like they're fake, like they're that pretty that they can't be real. Fun fact, I suck at golf. Golf and bowling I suck at. Everything else I'm decent. Okay, so, hi guys. We are currently on Squaw Peak Trail in Northern Utah. It has really become my most favorite trail. I did it for the first time about two weeks ago, and you'll see why. It's amazing. There's some really good views, epic mountains. We started on the south side, so you start on Hubble Creek Canyon, drive north all the way, and we'll come out at Provo Canyon, and then we're gonna go to Sundance. I've never been there before, so I'm really excited to go. Um, it's actually where the Sundance Film Festival originated, so we'll see what that's all about there. I'll take you guys with me. And then I actually want to show you guys something first on this trail. There's this incredible lookout. You'll see why it's amazing. So let's go. Look at that. So this little town is actually where we just came into the canyon from. This is called Mapleton. And then a little bit south is an area called Spanish Fork. So we're about a quarter of the way into the trail now. We're gonna keep going this way. We're actually gonna loop around this mountain ridge right here and keep going north. We'll show you guys some more views along the way. It's gonna be pretty epic. So that was one amazing view, but that is not the view that I wanna show you. That was just one beautiful little spot. So we're gonna keep going here, enjoy the ride, have a good day. So these white trees that you'll see sporadically throughout this trail, they're called quaking aspens and they're actually my most favorite tree. In the fall, their little petals turn bright yellow. They're like neon yellow and they're so beautiful. I'm gonna have to take you guys back up here in the fall. It's gonna look completely different. All the trees are gonna be completely different colors and it's just gonna be this beautiful mash of reds and oranges and yellows and it is breathtaking. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, I think this clearing is gonna be beautiful. Would you look at that? That does not look real. That is so pretty. That is Utah Lake. This is the one thing I love the most about Utah is these incredible views. I will never ever get tired of them.
lookout point that I wanted to show you guys. And as you can see, these views are amazing. Um, this is definitely one of my most favorite spots in Utah that I found so far. So we're about the halfway point on the Squaw Peak Trail. We're gonna continue on the trail just over my shoulder here. You could probably see it. And then we're gonna make one more stop before we descend into the Provo Canyon. There's the Squaw Peak Lookout. It's beautiful. We'll show you guys that. Head on down in Provo Canyon and go to Sundance. This road is pretty narrow, so when someone comes up, one person's usually gonna have to move over. I don't know that you could actually easily have two people pass each other. And to my left is a very big cliff, so that's always fun. Wow, look at all of these trees. There was a huge avalanche, must have just went right through here in the winter time. This is crazy. You can see they're just completely ripped at the base. Wow. Oh, look, here's some more of them. Oh, wow. So we're on the other side of where we just were, where they're all down. And they're going down that way too, look at that, wow. That must have been a massive avalanche. Hey guys, so if you didn't know, I am an ambassador for E3 Off-Road. E3 Off-Road is an online membership platform designed to elevate your off-roading experience. It's all about education, entertainment, and empowerment, and it's an incredible platform, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. So if you wanna find out more, go check out the link in my description below, and I will see you there. Timber! It smells like Christmas trees. That's the best smell. So we're coming up to that lookout right here. So this is the last little lookout. This is actually the Squab Peak lookout. This will be the last one on our stop on this trail and it is nothing short of incredible. The cicadas out here are super loud, it's so hot, but it is incredible. So that's pretty much it for this trail. We're about to hit pavement pretty soon entering into Provo Canyon, and then head on up to Sundance, check it out, and have a good evening. One of my favorite things about coming down off of this trail is you get this beautiful view of Mount Tipanogos. It's actually one of the tallest mountains we have in Utah. It's 11,750 feet high, and it is just beautiful. And Sundance is right on the other side of it, and that's where we're headed. So we just finished our little trail ride on Squaw Peak and that was amazing. And we are just in Provo Canyon now, headed up the road about 10 minutes or so, going to the Sundance Resort. Um, I have never been, so I am super excited to take you guys along with me. There's gonna be some live music, there's gonna be some great food. We'll close it out with a nice lift ride, so let's go. So that right there is Bridal Veil vale Falls. It's a very famous waterfall just off of the highway here in Provo Canyon. So a while back, there used to be a tram that would take you about halfway up the cliff there. And there used to be a restaurant, but there was an avalanche and it pretty much destroyed the whole thing.
make fun of us jeepers for our ducks. Oh, they're playing The Sound of Music. I actually grew up watching that movie, so it'll be super cool to see the theater from up in the lift. I'm a trespasser. Foundry Grill just ordered some food, gonna enjoy the atmosphere. This place is absolutely beautiful. I've been on a gondola, but I've never been on a ski lift before, so this is fun. So that right there is the back side of Mount Tipanogos. So we were on the other side, and now we're on the back side. And there's actually still snow up there. That'll be there all year round. It's a glacier. So if you're super adventurous, you can actually hike up there and go ski down it, even in the summertime. So this is reminding me of when I first got my Jeep. I was still kind of new to off-roading and all that, and there's a resort a um, couple canyons north of here, and off the parking lot is all these dirt roads that you see. So I just, I didn't see a sign that said no trespassing, so I just went and spent the whole day off-roading around at this resort, and it was beautiful. And it wasn't until when I came down, one of the ranger kids was like, um, hey miss, yeah, you're not supposed to be up in here in your Jeep. <laughs> I was like, oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> so then I went home and I was trespassing all day. <laughs> so I'm a trespasser. <laughs> but I did get some really good photos. You guys gotta look at this right here. This is insane. Ski patrol. It makes me think of Paw Patrol. Like I, I feel like you just you can't capture it the way you see it in person. It's almost impossible. If you guys look right over there, that's actually the Sundance Summer Theater, and they are currently doing The Sound of Music. Would you guys look at this? This is literally why I moved to Utah. I will never, ever, ever get tired of these views. Oh, I live for days like these. This is the exact reason why I moved to Utah, and I'm so glad I was able to take you out with me. Squaw Peak, still one of my favorites so far. Down into Provo Canyon, headed up to Sundance, had an amazing time here, had some food, some music, enjoyed the lift ride. And thank you guys for joining with me on this one. If you could do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, help me out, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys. Yay.